Good afternoon again, commissioners. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Scott Andrzejczak, and I'm speaking for SOS today. Um, Mr. Andrzejczak, please. Uh, we don't know what's the content of that. Would you please? Uh, um, that, that contact down? is a meeting right here in this room. Mr. Andrzejczak, would you? I just, we don't accept other video things unless we've had a chance to, to preview them ahead of time. So, Well, you wouldn't let me do it on your own video. Le well, actually, my video. Sir, you would you please shut that down? Just uh, Actually, this is really relevant to the $4 million cost overrun for the Spring Lake sewers. It's just video that was here in this room, and that's all it is, sir. We, we just so I, I consider this three minutes. As I said to you before, this is my... Uh, we, have a, we have a rule that we like to see our video stuff ahead of time or... or presentations ahead of time so we understand what the content is okay so if I give you this video of the meeting that was held in this room it, uh, it, you it, will it. as long as it's you will review it and then you'll let me play it on the county we'll computer, the, on we'll the county the county administrator and county attorney review that we'll see we'll go from you're just going to review it sir if you could just shut that down I'd appreciate it well I just want to be clear because again this is my free speech rights and I just yeah. want to be clear that I'll be able to play this because it was just a meeting minutes uh, meeting video from in this room I, so there should be no problem playing it since you already had it happen it could in be this room fine. it could be fine i don't i just don't know okay you i'll take I'll, you're an honest man i'll take you at your word mr chairman that Thank uh, you very much. uh as long as it's this video then that's fine then i'll have to and we'll we'll give him give him a little bit more time kelly oh you started my clock yeah um actually i would like my three minutes please since you're not letting me play your own video um i'd like to get my three minutes sir okay i think ahead. that's fair he's going Thank you. Um, okay, then I will continue on my, my theme from this morning um, with Ms. Knowlton. I forgot to show you the document that was a public records request that I asked for all other non-disclosure agreements that were signed by this county with any engineering firms for um, Homeland Security uh, dis, uh, non disclosure for the Homeland Security for any other infrastructure projects that were done within this county. Of course, none were done, and, and this is the actual um, public records request from Ms. Knowlton herself um, saying there are no such documents. And so um, we've got a situation where Ms. Kutcher tells us that um, they're always accurate with their. Um, their estimates, a $4 million cost overrun comes in. And just like Susan said, none of you folks ask a single question about this. And this is, you know, I want to thank you, Mr. Chairman, because we remembered, Susan and I were talking about this. Last year, you told every member on this board that the costs were off. You tried to speak to them, and I, I remember Ms. Duffy actually arguing with you, saying that the numbers were correct. And that was one of the more amusing things, a man of... 40 years experience and you're trying to tell him that he's wrong um, and you tried to warn him. Actually, I should say that Mr. Truex also spoke that there was some issues with it and yet none of you folks speak up. Even if, even if I was for the sewers, I would be upset that a $4 million cost overrun comes with Ms. Kuchar sneaking in in the middle of the night, so to speak, uh, and nobody says anything. My own commissioner magically disappears and says nothing about it. He's supposed to be protecting the folks in Spring Lake. This grant money is great, but Commissioner Constance promised us the cheapest sewers in the history of Charlotte County. Commissioner Deutsch said they'd be maybe $3,000, $3,500, whatever. So the grant money is great, but that was supposed to take us down from the original very high price that all of the residents came in here and told you was extremely high. Uh, for them, they can't afford their medicine, et cetera. And so um, I do thank you for speaking up, Mr. Chairman, um, last year and trying to convince your colleagues that this is wrong, uh, that you shouldn't go forward. But you folks decided to go forward. All of you are on the hook for this. This is a problem because when the bids come back, are you going to have a very large contin contingency hiding in there? So it's going to be 12000 14000 You say you're not going to raise the assessment, but... Our problem is that you don't hold future boards accountable. I mean, you can't stop a future board from raising the assessment next year, two years later, three years later, four years later, 15 years later. And so will any of you offer a guarantee or some sort of a document that says we're never going to raise the rates on the rest of the uh, 20 years of Time the assessment? Up. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.